I'm Tamsin Aspinall, and this is Tides TV, and I'm here today with Marcelo Caraballo, who's a senior scientist at Genscript. Welcome, Marcelo. Thank you for having me. Good to have you here. So, being one of the leaders in the global gene synthesis market, how does Genscript harness their expertise to develop innovations for the precision diagnostic and therapeutic research fields? Yeah, that's a, a great question, Tamsin. So, over the years, there have been a lot of developments and advancements in sequencing technology. And this has given us kind of a, a greater understanding of how a person's genetic makeup plays a role in disease formations and, and their outcomes. And this has led to more personalized medicine, which is currently revolutionizing the field. But that's only one side of the equation. That's the, the reading of DNA. I see it, there's a flip side, which is the writing of DNA. And they're both important to gain a complete understanding. Um, and this, in the writing of DNA, is where Genscript has always been on the cutting edge leader. By combining our advanced chip oligosynth platform with 16 years of de novo DNA synthesis expertise, we feel we can really accelerate the pace of research um, by making tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of oligos simultaneously that can be used as molecular diagnostic tools. Um, this really gives researchers a cost-effective way to develop uh, amazing diagnostic tools to identify uh, disease-causing mutations, and also hopefully to ha more, have more highly accurate diagnoses of these uh, genetic-based diseases. Uh, we feel that combining these advanced technologies and expertise can really help the, the fields of precision diagnostics and therapeutics. Great. Can you give a brief introduction um, of your CHIP oligosynthesis platform? Yeah, I'd love to. This is uh, something that's near and dear to me. I've been doing this for 18 years, so I do, uh, I do love it quite a bit. So Genscript uses uh, CMOS technology. CMOS technology is the same kind of semiconductor technology that is used to make computer chips all over the world, from people's phones to people's uh, computers, or all, or all electronic devices, really. Um, the semiconductor chip that we use essentially becomes an oligosynthesis chip. It's essentially an array of electrodes, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or possibly millions of electrodes. Uh, each one of these electrodes can be individually and precisely controlled. And using that, we can create and synthesize unique oligos on each of these uh, uh, electrodes. Um, at parties, I kind of joke, you know, people ask me, what do you do for a living? It's like, oh, well, I grow DNA on computer chips. And it's a joke, but it's kind of true as well. Very good. So what are some of the current challenges in the industry for oligopool synthesis? Yeah, I mean, every industry has its challenges, and we're no different. Um, each one of our products, each one of these pools, are extremely complex, and they're all completely custom designed by our customers. So every single one is unique, and we're talking about tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of oligos in this mix. So there are challenges involved in creating such a complex and custom product. I know when I order something, I want a high-quality product, I want it to be consistent, reliable. I want a good price, of course, and I don't want to wait very long for it. I want it as soon as possible. Um, and that's the mark we try to hit at Genscript. We want very high quality, consistent, reliable, the best price we can give to customers, and a very good turnaround time. We currently boast the best turnaround time in the industry, and we feel that's a real value for customers. Um, aside from the technical merits of an oligo pool, there's, uh, I think, a lot of room to grow in uh, a customer awareness. Um, oligo pools are a novel product and they're very complex and not all of our customers understand how to use them, what they can be used for, or even that they exist really. So to that end, we've been doing a series of webinars where we provide that information of how to use them and what they are. We recently did one on how to construct AAV libraries to identify novel constructs, for example. Very good. And how can some of the researchers benefit from using Genscript's oligopool service? So oligopools can be a very transformative technology for a lot of applications. Basically what we're doing here is that we are taking advantage of the same parallelization of workflow that has transformed sequencing and applying it to the writing of DNA. Um, so any application that can benefit from a large library of defined oligo elements is a candidate for an oligopool. Uh, several come to mind, for example, uh, targeted sequencing. Targeted, targeted sequencing kits generally start their life as a pool of oligos that are, have sequences that are complementary to the region of interest that you're trying to uh, target. Another good one is CRISPR libraries. We do a lot of CRISPR libraries for, com for our customers. Um, and another one that's interesting is uh, mutagenesis libraries. Um, 
Alga pools provide an interesting middle ground between rational design, which requires a lot of analytical uh, data, um, and directed evolution, which starts with a random set and involves a lot of screening. Um, so this provides a nice middle ground where you can define as many uh, mutations as you want, as you feel you can handle in your screening apparatus. Um, I think that there's going to be a lot more applications as people kind of find out and play around with how to use algo pools. I think we've only scratched the surface. Great. Can you talk a little bit about uh, GenScript's future plans and developments for improving the precision diagnostic field? That's another great question. Um, no company can rest on its laurels, especially in biotech or technology in general. Uh, and we're constantly moving to improve our products and to provide new services. Um, specifically with regards to oligo pools, um, we have several projects going on. Two of them, we're doing our next generation synthesizer. Uh, and the new synthesizer is going to be focused on increasing things like error rate and maximum oligo we can synthesize. Um, as well as reducing the cost and reducing the turnaround time. As I said before, it's already the best in the business, but you know, no one's going to be complaining about receiving their product day earlier. Um, the next gener generation chip, that's another exciting project for me. Um, we're going to be pushing the technology forward, and we're going to be, our next chip design is going to be able to do 10 times more oligo simultaneously than our current chip. Um, we're also going to be uh, moving forward to providing more services based on our oligopool synthesis technology. Um, oligopools are just a starting point for most of these applications. They're, they're tools. In and, in and of themselves, they don't really do anything. They, you have to have extra elements added to them. Uh, and many of our customers are willing to do that themselves. And these are customers that are in the DIY community are happy to do it. But a lot of researchers are busy doing their own work and have no time to play around with this kind of thing. And they want a turnkey solution. And so we're working towards uh, providing these turnkey solutions based in our oligo pools. An example is our uh, targeted sequencing kits that we are uh, rolling out now and are receiving very good data and feedback from. So we're pretty excited about that. Great. Thank you so much for sharing those insights, Thank Marcelo. You, Thank it's you. been a pleasure. A pleasure.